is Late Night Help. This is the radio show that cares about the most important part of your life, your health. During the next two hours, you're going to meet some very interesting people. For example, you're going to meet Eric Zuli. Uh, Eric's father was healed by prayer. They're convinced of this. We'll be finding out more about that. Eric is also an internationally respected and known social media guru and expert. We'll find out more about that. Dr. Greg Salea joins us. Dr. Greg was one of our first guests over five years ago. And we'll be wrapping up our show today talking with Daryl Wayne, the insane Daryl Wayne, who asked me, what would I do if I could go on radio again? Hi, I'm Mark Allen, and welcome to the 300th episode of Late Night Help. I start the program by saying, Daryl, thank you for believing in me. Not a problem. (laughs) Thank you for still believing in me. (laughs) Somewhat not a problem. Okay, got it. Um, I decided to uh, to interview and to chat with two friends who have become very important in my life, my personal life, as well as my late night health life. And that's Robert Clancy, the author of Soul Cyphers. You can find out more about him at guide to the soul dot com and also Swami, uh, the Orange Cowboy. Uh, and these two guys have helped shape and f- kind of update our show uh, touching more on the mind body spirit aspect of late night health gentlemen thanks for joining us on our, our i guess our kind of birthday <laughs> yes yeah, well, a birthday. pleasure to be here you know 300 Happy birthday thank you i i i feel every every episode of it uh 600 hours of programming uh, that's, of course, available, much of it, at LateNightHealth.com. Also, uh, a new audio book of our show has been released by Blackstone Audio, and you can look at that at Amazon.com. But I'm curious as to your feeling about Late Night Health. Both of you uh, have been interviewed and by radio, TV, uh, Robert's going to be on a very important uh, uh, health program in a couple of months, a month and a half or so. It's going to be taped. Um, and what your feeling in general is about late night health. Robert, you well, want to? I'll start. Um, you know, I look at uh, late night health uh, as uh, the mind, body, and spirit of everything and it's really you know you're bringing in a lot of new concepts a lot of things that aren't talked about um there are some mainstream views as well as alternate views and i I, what's great is that you bring to the table um all of those pieces especially the the spiritual part and that's one of the most essential pieces in the whole equation and i think the spiritual part is has always played an important part to me in health Right, I mean, without that spiritual aspect, you may not have as good a health as you could. Do yeah, either, why do we're agree? we're all here? Yeah, it's, it's the whole connection, and um, I'll I'll turn the the reins over to Swami to uh, really enlighten you on that side of the fence. Yeah, Swami, and your website is. My website is orangecowboy.com. Orangecowboy.com. By the way, uh, both Robert and Swami jumped in when we had some uh, technical issues with latenighthealth.com, rebuilt it, didn't tell me, and uh, made it even better than it was, in fact, by a 1,000%. So I thank you both for that. What is your overall feeling about late night health, uh, Swami? Well, it's very similar to what Robert said. You have a foot in both worlds, which is so important today. You have the Western technological world, and you have the spiritual, energetic world. And because you bring in both sides, this is a credible radio show that people can come to hear both sides. And I know that going forward, you'll actually be having people from the technical world from the scientific world 
talking about the research they're doing or the research that's out there that proves that energy medicine, that spirituality, that love, that joy are true healing modalities in and of themselves. And of course, and, and and you're an expert in Ayurvedic uh, medicine as well. We've That's talked right. about that. That's right. And there's lots of research on Ayurveda out there. Uh, the NIH has lots of research on post-traumatic stress syndrome and energy medicine, like the emotional freedom technique. So the research is out there, and the more we bring it to the audience, this will be the radio show to go to to get the validation of the spiritual from the scientific. That's what's so exciting for 2018. One of the things that uh, I find about this show is that I'm invited to do different things, and I w- I, I've had a couple of energy healing sessions. I don't understand it. But with <laughs> that... <good? laughs> uh, say that again, Robert? No, uh, uh, so I, mean, I was asking oh. you, how did it feel, though? You, you don't understand it's, these things. You just generally feel good from it. Well, you know, uh, I've been in radio for, say, 35, 40 years, radio and TV, I still don't know how it works. It's magic to me. And that's what I talk about with energy healing. Uh, I've always felt relaxed and and rejuvenated following a treatment. I think it's wonderful. I don't know if it's my mind. I don't know if it's their mind, the practitioner. But it doesn't matter. I feel better after having a session. And, 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 you know, that's the key, Mark. You know, feeling better actually raises your immune system because your endorphins and your mind is kicking in. So even that part of it, and they've even shown that if you take a placebo and you believe in that thing, it's your mind healing your own body. Exactly. The placebo effect, and Swami, this would be more in your area, I think, actually in both of your areas. Uh, the placebo effect is at least 50% of of healing of any kind. If you believe that your doctor says, take this pill, and it's going to make you uh, make your eyes go from brown to green, that's what's going to happen. You know, and you believe it'll happen, it'll happen. Now I'm being a little extreme there. But right. my point is that that belief is what triggers the 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 body to heal itself that yeah and you know the word belief is a very crucial word key word because uh i want to distinguish the word hope or wish from the word belief i can hope or want that i'm going to be healthy but if i don't believe it then it's not rooted in my heart in my soul but if I believe I'm going to get better, if the doctor convinces me I'm going to get better, if uh, hearing Robert Robert says, I'm going to tell you this story and you're going to feel better, if you believe it in your soul, you're going to get better, as opposed to just wanting. Uh, a couple of months ago, actually, Robert's been a feature of the show for three years, and we appreciate him joining us. He usually does a uh, five- or six-minute segment, inspirational message uh, of the week, and I always get a, a charge out of them. Uh, the topics range from all kinds of things. So I don't know when it was that you said, you, re- you laughed at me one day. You called me up and you said, you know, we were talking about whatever it was, um, energy healing. And I thought that you would ask these questions. And you came out of something that I hadn't thought about. And I'm just trying to keep you on your toes. Is that challenging to you and to other guests? Is that something that is good or bad? I I think it's great because you're really looking at all the different areas, um, especially, you know, we all do question those things. So, you know, you always bring that up. I know that you're going to do the opposite when I say something like... uh, Yes, well, if you just change your perspective on it, it may change your outlook and then have a great healing effect. And then you'll come back with, well, what if you can't change your perspective? <laughs> exactly. I mean, there are, we, so, we, we all know people so. like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, our guests, yeah, we do. 
uh, we do know those people who can't change their perspective. I may even be one of them. Robert Clancy, the author of Soul Ciphers and uh, Swami, the Orange Cowboy. You have to go to their websites. Uh, they're terrific. Lots of information, uh, lots of free advice, lots of articles and blogs, a couple of videos, especially on Robert's uh, uh, website, that are designed to educate and to to help push you you along. Uh, we're going to be taking a break in a moment. When we come back, I'm going to bring Daryl Wayne, our producer and uh, collaborator here on Late Night Health. I want to know what he thinks of Robert and, and, and Swami. I'm putting him on the spot, but I'm going to give him a, a minute or so to think about these two gentlemen who have become very important to uh, to us here at Late Night Health and, as I said, personally in my life. I'm Mark Allen. This is Late Night Health along with the insane Daryl Wayne. Join us at LateNightHealth.com. And thanks to Robert and Swami, Facebook.com slash Late Night Health Radio. Don't go away. More coming up. Late Night Health is proud of our partnership with the EBC, the Evolutionary Business Council. Check them out at ebcouncil.com. Change can be disruptive but only if you allow it to be. Great renewal is always born from change. If you find that your life hasn't been a smooth sail, know the winds of change will eventually take you to a peaceful shore. There will always be setbacks, but they're never permanent. The sun will rise again, and the weather will always clear after a storm. Let your smile be a great reminder of your blessings. It's time to set your sights on a new goal and persevere. The great goal is to love. So simply, love. For more inspiration from Robert Clancy, visit GuideToTheSoul.com or go to the Moments with Robert page on LateNightHelp.com. The latest from the greatest, the best in new music by classic rockers, with your host, the insane Daryl Wayne. This is Alice Cooper, and if Daryl Wayne is insane, what does that make me? Criminally insane. Stick around to find out. It is the latest from the greatest. We've had some really good conversations over the five years that this program has been going on with some great rock artists and some people from behind the scenes authors and otherwise producers. Some of those have been captured on the latest for the greatest volume one. Uh, It's available on Amazon or if you go to blackstoneaudio.com, blackstoneaudio.com or Amazon, search for Daryl Wayne, D-A-R-R-E-L-L-W-A-Y-N-E. I'm the Reverend Al Green and I said Wayne Insane. You're listening to Late Night Health with Mark Allen. The show continues in a moment. 